was the first show I ever played was a show at the Viper Room that was only like one minute long, the night River Dying. Um, I just played the song Life's a Bath, and that was the first time I ever played a solo show. I just, I played the song Life's a Bath, and then I threw up on my friend Gibby Haynes. <laughs> I, I, I just I felt it coming while I was on stage and I and I just threw the guitar down and I rushed over to Gibby who was sort of sitting on the stage but sitting on the floor and I threw up all over him <laughs> and he was just laughing. He's used to it, I suppose. <laughs> well, I didn't have any money the last time that I got off of drugs, and uh, and so they, they I guess they have some sort of a deal with the. Uh, with Los Encinas Hospital, uh, where they, you know, I guess they pay them a portion of the money, but they sort of, you know, they work together to, you know, making it so a musician who has no money can go into a hospital that costs, you know, $20,000 or whatever to, to go to. Or, you know, I didn't have any money at that time, so they arranged it to where I could go in the hospital. I was never really 100% about wanting to to quit doing drugs, you know. Um, I I never really... There, there was never any point during... Like, I guess the first time I tried to quit taking drugs was in, like, 1990... Around Christmas time of 95 to 96. And, uh... And... And, uh... Never... The whole time I was, I did a 30-day program at Exodus Hospital in Marina del Rey, and and uh, n at no point that I was there did it ever occur to me that I wanted to stop doing everything, you know. Um, whereas when I was at Los Encinas Hospital, you know, and and I and I there was another, so I I quit that time, then I started doing them again, then I quit another time, and then I started doing them again, and then. The whole time it was always like I, you know, I don't. I'm not going to make any rules for myself. I can do whatever I feel like doing. You know, when I was at Los Encinas, it occurred to me that like that, it, like about halfway through the time that I was there, all of a sudden I realized like that it would that it would be a really good idea for me to just see what it was, see what happened in my life if I stopped doing everything. You know, if I if I if I became strict with myself and I didn't smoke pot and I didn't drink alcohol and I, I, you know, basically tried to live a completely clean life for a year, just see what happens, you know. And so that was, that was the deal I made with myself and it, and it, you know, it turned out, you know, it turned out uh, really well, you know, every, every, like, I noticed that uh, a certain kind of, uh, a certain kind of energy uh, builds up, you get a you 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 get a certain kind of momentum by uh, by not giving in to constantly trying to take things into your to take things into yourself to to make yourself feel the way you want to feel at that moment. And what ends up happening is like you know maybe you don't get that immediate gratification of the rush of a hit of crack or something at the moment that you feel like taking a hit of crack, but a week later, you, you, uh, you've started being friends with a friend who you haven't been friends with for years, and, and, uh, you, somebody smiles at you that you, you haven't, nobody's really given you a genuine smile for, uh, for a year, you know, and then all of a sudden, like, that week you made 15 people smile, you know. Uh, these kind of things just start happening and you start, I, I just started, uh, I just started really getting off on, on the feeling of not being on drugs, you know. So, so, uh, yeah, I guess it was just in the cards for me to stop at that time that I did. Um, because, the other couple of times that I tried to quit, it, it never occurred to me that there could be any advantage to, uh, to, to stopping doing it.